All right, what I want to show you guys is how to put a linear equation into standard form, standard form and then find the x and y intercepts. Remember, standard, fo or standard form is ax plus by equals c. So to simply put this in a standard form, I need to subtract my 6x on both sides. Therefore, I obtain 4y is equal to 4y minus 6x is equal to 42. Then the next thing it says, find the x and y intercept. If you guys can remember the x and y intercept, on a graph, when you're trying to find the x and y intercept, at the y intercept, your x value is 0. And at the x intercept, your y value is 0. And at the y intercept, your x value is 0. So if I want to find the y intercept, so remember the y intercept, at that point, I don't have, a, I have an x value of 0. So at the y intercept, I'm going to put a 0 in for x. So it'll be 4y minus 6 times 0 equals 42. And if I want to find the x intercept, which is right here, I notice that my x intercept, my y value, has a value of 0. So I'm going to plug in a 0 in for y. So therefore now, all you simply do is just finish off your, do your algebra. So 4y minus 0 equals 42. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. y equals 10.5. Here, 4 times 0 is 0. Negative 6x equals 42. Divide by negative 6. Divide by negative 6. x equals a negative 7. So therefore, when you have given an equation and you need to find the y-intercept, plug in a 0 in for x, and then you 0 in for x, and you solve, you get 10.5. And when you're solving for the x-intercept, you plug a 0 in for y, and you go ahead and solve for x, and you get x equals, um, and you get your x value, which is your x-intercept. All right? So that's how you put a linear equation first in standard form, and then how you find the x and y-intercept.